Hey guys, my name is Ola Brolo and today we will be taking a closer look at the patch notes for the Escape from Tarkov update 12.9, which will release tomorrow on the 24th of December. This update will come with the long-awaited wipe and many new cool features, but before we get into the news, if you want to become a better gamer, make sure you are subscribed to the Inside Gaming channel. And today, the update will be including the New Woods expansion, which I personally really like. It will include more loot, and I personally already like the woods, and I hope that this makes woods a more popular map, as it was quite unpopular before. Then, they're also adding a new skill called Immunity, which sounds very cool, although we'll have to see how it actually affects the game. Then they have reworked the metabolism skill, which, I mean, I hope they haven't increased the food, so you have to bring food into every raid. I hope they don't do that. Then they've reduced the impact of weapon mastering and the recoil skill on actual weapon recoil, which will make the game easier for casual players, which I think is a good thing, because the players that are already good at the game probably have this leveled up very high, and new players, this will make it a bit easier for them. Then they've um, lowered the character overweight from 40 to 35 kilograms, which I don't really like that change because it was already very easy to be uh, overweight and not to be able to run properly. Then they've increased the ammo purchase limit, which I personally really like because uh, we've had problems before of only being able to buy a certain amount of ammo every restock. And now you'll hopefully be able to buy enough so you don't have to go to the market. Then they're also adding a new uh, free supply package, which is very nice. It will be free gear for everybody, so everyone will get it, and it's just free loot. So that's very nice. Then they've simplified the Jaeger quests, which, you know, we'll have to see how much that actually changes, but it sounds like a good change. And they've also changed many quests, but they haven't said anything specific about them, and they haven't said anything about new quests. So we'll have to see how much that actually changes. They've also added new clothing, which sounds very cool. And it will allow you to personalize your character further than you can right now, which is very nice. Then they've also fixed it so that you can't put a thermal site onto a mount and then put it in your secure container. I'm actually very surprised that this hasn't been fixed earlier because it's been in the game for a very long time. I really like this because people can't cheese anymore with thermals and just hide them. Then they've also changed a large amount of the web mod characteristics, so I'll have to see again how this changes the game, but this could affect the meta in a big way, we just don't know yet. And now for the biggest things for m most people, they've added the Chris Vector in both 9mm and 45 caliber, which will be a great gun for CQB, so for factory and labs and customs, dorms. It'll be really nice. It'll have a very high fire rate with a low recoil and it'll probably be a very expensive weapon. We'll just have to see. Then they're also adding the UMP and 45 caliber, which is just going to be basically a cheaper Chris Factor with a much lower fire rate. We'll have to see. It sounds very cool. I really like the UMP. And then they're also adding a SIG MCX and 300 blackout, which will be a new caliber with probably a very high damage and high bullet drop, with a very low velocity. Then they're also adding the Mark 18 and 338 Lapua Magnum, which will be a very powerful, the most powerful gun in the game. And this could replace the SVD for the long range map weapon of choice for people like me that like long range engagements. This will be very nice and it'll hopefully <laughs> not be too powerful, but it sounds like it is. So we'll have to see. Then they're adding various new weapon mods, which is always very nice to see. And <laughs> that'll also include a 45 caliber suppressor. So that's finally coming. We can finally suppress our 1911s and uh, play like uh, we're playing Hitman. And that'll be very nice. Also, they've added a small change that Killer will be able to hear you better when you're approaching him from behind, which it... <laughs> That could make him a very hard boss to, fi to fight, which, I mean, he's already hard to fight, but I hope this doesn't make it too, too difficult. Then they've added many small bug fixes and improvements. And in general, this sounds like a really cool update, and I'm very excited to finally have a big update that comes with a wipe. 
as it's been more than half a year since we've had the last swipe and Tarkov really needs it right now. And guys, if you want to improve your Tarkov experience, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any future videos.